Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my 100% honest review of this Tear Tear uh, Cushion Foundation. This is Japan's number one best-selling foundation and to be very honest, I was not planning to get it because a lot of the times when a uh, product is viral and I test it out and I'm like meh, you know what I mean. But I recently saw Tati's video and I decided to give it a try and for your information I have super duper dry skin and yeah if you want to know how it performs on me then please keep on watching. This foundation retails for 25 US dollars and it came in a cardboard box like this one. Like how stinking adorable the packaging is. It's so cute, so luxe and when you open it up here is the cushion and you're actually getting a mirror as well. So packaging wise like 20 out of 10. I absolutely adore the packaging. It's super cute. So this foundation details for 25 US dollars but I used Tati's code. I think it is 30 Tati 30. I will mention it here on the screen as well as in the description box down below. Make sure to use that code to have 30% off of this foundation. I think I paid around $18 or so. I got mine from Amazon and yes, that code actually works for Amazon as well. And there are 18 shades available right now. And let's just talk about the claims and everything. This is made in Korea, which is really good. And it is Japan's number one foundation and it is mask proof. Uh, they apparently tested it with mask. I'm glad we are not living in that era anymore. I had a hard time picking up my shade. I am going to tell you, I got the shade 33 and Macchiato and it is a little bit deeper than my uh, skin tone right now. Um, I was going for the shade 29 N, but I, I watched a couple of videos and that shade seemed to be a little too lighter than my complexion. So I thought 33 N would be my perfect shade, but it is not. Um, it looked a little bit lighter on the swatch picture, but it is actually a little bit deeper uh, than my complexion though um, I was able to like make it work by applying a lighter concealer and by applying like a uh, brightening setting powder on the center part of my eye it works now it is a little bit uh, deeper than my complexion but I am sure during the summertime when I would go to the beach I would have a nice tan it would be a perfect match for my complexion. By the way, this is not a first impression. I have been testing it out for, I would say three to four days at this point and I know exactly what I feel about this foundation. Anyway, let's just talk about the claims. Again, it claims to be a 72 hour wear foundation. It is supposed to be a smudge proof, budge proof, mask proof and sweat proof foundation. And it is supposed to enhance the appearance of your makeup and it is supposed to be full coverage. We will see that. So yeah, that was all the information and let's just jump into the application process and then I will be back to give you my initial. For primer today, I'm using my e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. This one is really, really amazing. I have done a full in-depth review of this one if you have not tried this one yet I highly highly recommend you getting it it just makes your skin look so much more smoother and it makes your makeup last all day long and it's not like super duper mattifying either which I absolutely love and I am ready to apply this bad boy on my face and yeah let's just start slapping it Oh wow, like the way it's applying on my face, it's so stunning. So here is half of my face with the foundation and the other half without the foundation and right off the back it's giving me full coverage. Like I do not have any complaint about the coverage, it's full coverage. It's looking like my second skin and it's it feels very very lightweight on the skin so far and it gave me I would say like a satin matte finish it's not super duper dewy or matte either like here is how everything is looking so far so far so good I'm liking um, the coverage I'm liking the way it's sitting on my face and the cushion has done a pretty amazing job actually like it applied the foundation seamlessly which I absolutely love there is no patchiness happening whatsoever so yeah this is how everything is looking 
and one more thing like I did not have to dip it inside of the the cushion more than once like I dipped one time and it, I was able to cover um, like half of my face and with two dips I was able to cover my entire face so you do not even need to go in like multiple times in my opinion here is how the foundation is looking so hard I am just shocked by uh, the way it's looking like the coverage is insane as I mentioned earlier I'm not really happy with the shade match though it's a little too deep for me uh, right now but yeah I think it's going to be perfect during summer this is how the foundation is looking so far um, apart from the shade match I am not mad at it like the shade is a little too deep for my skin tone personally right now I think it's going to be perfect during summertime um, I'm not loving it I'm not mad at it either but I would definitely love to find a shade that is an exact match it is just a smidge uh, deeper for my complexion right now the undertone is perfect though and yeah this is how the foundation is looking so far now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back I am back and I did set it with my setting spray as well as my uh, setting powder I used my Charlotte Tilbury one so far so good I'm really liking the way it's looking on my skin personally it's very thin and lightweight on the skin and you know what with some full coverage foundations they look very heavy on me especially my Huda Beauty foundation and my Urban Decay All Nighter they are full coverage and they feel like I'm wearing makeup it happens with my Fenty Beauty like original Fenty Beauty foundation as well but with this one it's full coverage but it is so thin like water and it's looking really nice initially so yeah I'm going to go ahead and wear this foundation throughout the day and then I'll be back to give you my final hi day. I'm back and it's currently 9 33 p.m. and I'm so ready to take off my makeup and it's been a long day and this is how everything is looking so far and today was a pretty warmer here in DC and yeah so yeah looking by the mirror as I mentioned I have been testing out this foundation for like over three to four days at this point and here is what I think this foundation is fabulous like it's very 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 long wearing it's lightweight it's full coverage but it still looks like my own skin that is pretty weird like it this formula feels high end that's what I'm trying to say here like I am super impressed with the foundation like with I, I recently reviewed the Urban Decay foundation as well as the cover effects foundations those were like the most long wearing foundation I would say but this one is as long wearing as those two but it also feels very lightweight like it looks like my own skin I cannot even feel that I am wearing any kind of makeup that type of feeling I am getting from this foundation let's just do a quick transfer test so here is a clean paper towel and you can see I am really 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 pressing it and see there is absolutely zero transfer happening there is no transfer whatsoever and my foundation is looking intact even after like placing it so hard I am honestly really impressed and this is one of those foundations that is worth the hype and that is worth getting again use the code that is mentioned in the description box down below to get 30% off if you get it from Amazon this foundation is 10 and 10 I love the packaging some people might find it a little bit bulky I don't think that like it is so stinking cute I absolutely love it I'm glad that I did not have to go like three four times to cover my entire face and neck I just had to dip it just a tiny, tiny bit and I was able to cover up my entire face and it is super duper pigmented so it it was really helpful to get that full coverage look that I was looking for in case you are not into full coverage foundations I think you are still going to love it because it is very lightweight it is so lightweight you cannot even feel that you are wearing like a layer of makeup on your face um, 
and it's not settling on my forehead lines as i mentioned earlier my forehead is a trouble spot for me and it's not settling on my forehead at all it's not emphasizing any dry patch that i have here on my mouth area like this area is full of teeny tiny dry patches but it's not clinging onto any of those dry patches it's long wearing it's transfer proof it's sweat proof it looks like my skin like I do not have anything negative to say about this foundation apart from the shade range. I hope they expand uh, the say, shade range. That would be the best. And yeah, this shade is, as I mentioned, is a little darker for me, but with a lighter concealer, with a lighter setting powder, highlighting and stuff, I was able to make it work. And I think I'm going to rock this shade during the summer time. In spite of being such a full coverage formula, it does not even oxidize on me. Like it is already darker. So if it does oxidize, it would look really, really weird. I would not be able to make it work, but I was able to make it work. So the oxidization part with this foundation is very, very, very minimal. So it was pretty surprising because with really full coverage foundations they tend to oxidize but this guy over here it doesn't so yeah guys that was my review of this tear tear cushion foundation i absolutely love it and i give it 10 on 10 10 on 10 i do not have anything negative to say about it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope this video was helpful for you if you did then please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and tiktok then please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description box down below so make sure to check them out and yes you soon in my next video till then bye and take care bye